Media 5 Boot Camp in Miami Beach, Florida. This is the Power Hour. Welcome. Well, here we are on a Saturday. <clears throat> Another Saturday, 194th Power Hour, this is. So we're closing in on 200. That will be soon, very soon. So let me get rid of the share here. Uh, in September, it will happen. Forgot the date, but we've got it on the calendar. Uh, a few little updates. We moved. Yay. What? And uh, we moved to uh, a really cool building in Miami Beach. So we worked where we're at. We've been there for seven years. We They closed, and we just signed a two-year or one-year, whatever it is, agreement with them like a month in. Uh, by the way, they have to pay us yet. So pay us back. Oh, so just a message from somebody. So anyway, that's, uh, oh, I don't know. That's, so the new building is interesting. It's the 1111 building, uh, which is kind of a famous building in Miami Beach. It's <clears throat> it's a very architecturally pretty building. So anyway, we're in there. So we'll be in there starting on the on the uh, the first. So there's that. And then uh, new videos. I have 16 new videos on the online course. It'll be published here by the end of the month. And I'm working on another 11 uh, that I want to do uh, just to make it. I, I think I, I have some identified some like commercial maneuvers I want to like hone in on because people really don't understand those very well, especially eights on pylons. And actually, if I ask you one question, you can think about it for the entire show. Maybe you can leave it in the chat. But uh, uh, when do you need uh, more right rudder when rolling out of a chandelle to the right or to the left? That'd be your question. So you think about that because it's not. It's it's in the handbook. You can go read it, but it's not sometimes clear. So anyway, a lot of people get that wrong. So just for fun. Okay. And then what else did I do? Eight some pylons. I'm a master of eight some pylons. So I have a lot to say about that. I can show you, you know, the big question is why does that point pivot? I know why. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. So here's what we're going to do today. Let me get the share going up so we can do that. You're going to see a PowerPoint. I worked like a slave on this yesterday i slaved the whole day or five hours well because i want to use it on in our uh i want to use it in our uh course anyway so i want i want to so we're going to do that on day one of the cfi class we're going to have people set things up correctly on their ipad make sure everything syncs correctly to dropbox all that stuff so that when they uh want to teach remotely or they want to go online people want to go with our remote people everybody has a virtual whiteboard everybody has everything so you're going to see all that here today yeah so anyway let me get this show on the road because there's a lot to go through here a lot so don't worry about uh making any notes really i would just kind of pay attention if you can and then uh there will be a pdf of this presentation it's a pdf of this exact presentation available to you so you don't have to uh, it's got step-by-step -step instructions for a lot of things. So don't feel like you have to to keep up with it. Just sort of get the idea of what is this thing going to do for me? Okay. The biggest single thing I can tell you before we start is if you're not familiar, like like my, I'll give you a good example. One of my friends, he's a musical director. I think I've told you. By the way, the marquee is up. If you're in New York City, you can see the marquee on Studio 54 for A Wonderful World. It's the story of Louis Armstrong. And that's his musical. And uh, that's that there's no one in the house there on studio 54 right now so they put up the marquee early so it looks great but anyway he's one who i i have to like i'm technical support and i'm i don't want to be technical support no more i'm like the re whole reason you can't use this is because you won't spend 30 minutes to take class on how to use your laptop that's the whole reason i said you just call me instead because easy right so anyway i i need you to take a class 70 minutes on how to use your iPad. If, you, if you're not, if you know how to use the iPad already, don't, don't bother with what I say, right? If you already know how to install app on, but if you don't, then your job, your mission is not immediately to go to Four Flight and try to figure that out along with the iPad. You really need to take a class on how to do that. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's what I'm going to tell you to do. So now, once you've done that, now you're finished. Everybody's happy. Your nephew is no longer your technical support uh, or your grandkid is no longer your technical support person. Uh, you're you're going to be in good shape. So this is what we're going to talk about today, using ForeFlight and Zoom for teaching both together. And so what I have found is that, in fact, an attorney once, he said it, it worked, uh, in our, not worked, he took our class. His name was uh, Steve Petit. He's from uh, New Orleans, New Orleans, if he's here, I don't know. But he said, you know, I attend court meetings on Zoom. You know, I, I log in, I but I never use it. I never have to do anything other than log in and show my camera and turn on the, the, the audio. That's it, right? But as a presenter, you have a lot to drive here if you, if you want to do it right. So I've set up an entire thing, how to use Zoom as a presenter with screenshots, uh, everything. And I've also done the same with ForeFlight. So, uh, and I think this combination together 
works so well. Uh, I'm able to sit on my couch and make 200 bucks an hour teaching people over the internet. Now, I don't have to drive anywhere. I don't have to buy food anywhere. I don't have to do any of that. I just sit right here and do it all, right? So anyway, you can do, you don't necessarily, you have to do that all the time, but when, when it's appropriate to do it, I've taught an entire CFI class from right here, the entire thing, right? And so, you know, you, you can do the same thing if you know how to drive the machinery, if you know how to get everything. To work. So we're going to do that right now.